Hello and welcome to Go With The Heat. I'm Dominic. I'm John. I'm Melissa. And this is your cultural guy. It's a phenomenon that was Miami Vice. This is our season four recap. Believe it or not, season four is over. Sonny has amnesia. He met his kid again earlier in the season. <laughs> he was reintroduced to his kid. <laughs> this is our chance to look back at season four, talk about some of our favorite moments from the show, and then look ahead to what is coming in season five. Now, again, me and John have never seen the show before, so this will be our first time through. And Melissa's just chomping at the bit to get to the next episode of Amnesia. I'm ready. <laughs> so this is our chance to look back and talk about the things that we really, really loved about season four. And to be totally honest with you, it's not the best season of Miami <laughs> Vice when you look at the episodes as a whole. Yeah, when you go back through the, the episodes as a whole, it's definitely a stretch to pick favorites. <laughs> the goal of season four was to kind of get back on track where it was some serious and some silly. There's a lot of silly. <laughs> <laughs> they got the silly down. Well, you know, you say it's not the best season, but I mean, how many other seasons have we had dead floating Jamaicans, <laughs> aliens, dueling televangelists, a whole episode about bull semen? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was really educational. Hey, just, <laughs> just by the way, just to let you know, Trump's recent proposal for tariffs on China includes bull semen. Just saying. Well, that's a thing. No. <laughs> well, well how true. are we going to get into your cows now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Now we're worried. Now I'm, now I'm worried about this. We're going to do like what we've always done. You know, without is... those minute cows, we can't make string cheese. <laughs> <laughs> just comes right out as string cheese. <laughs> All right, John. Season four did have some great music. It also had an episode with no music. So I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on the best music from season four. This year, for my recap, we're going to do things a little different. We're going to do the season four music awards. So <laughs> went through season four music, and I, I made a few categories. I'm going to read you the nominees, and then we're going to discuss one. <laughs> so our first category is most appearances in season four who do you think was the artist that we saw or heard from the most in the most episodes so in the most different segments um oh hold on i know i know this band it's a it's a smaller band it's it's got a funny name uh i'm gonna go with big pig just because that's the only thing i can think of but i know that's not right melissa do you have a guess no <laughs> i don't <laughs> like a, Chini Easton, i don't know <laughs> they got a funny name Oh, and they've been it's in a previous actually, season, too. It's it's actually a tie between Sheena Easton See? and the band Yellow. There you, it so is. You had it, yeah. Yellow. I, I thought Sheena Easton. I was like, it's not yes. Sheena Easton, because she's in every, uh, almost every episode. <laughs> Sheena Easton is in Love at First Sight, Deliver Us from Evil, and Like a Hurricane. But Yellow is in Indian Wars, The Rising Sun of Death, and Contempt of Court. And so the award, we're going to give it to Yellow. Because Sheena Easton was also a guest star in those episodes, and they just there's just a fan of yellow somewhere on the Miami Vice staff because <laughs> exactly. this is their fifth total different episode for good old Dieter Meyer. Dieter Meyer. <laughs> <laughs> My baloney has a first name is D I E T E R. <laughs> And Boris Blank, the members of Yellow. So congratulations on most appearances in season four. Our next category is most obscure artist of season four. We had a lot of random ones. Everything from goofy band names to people born in a different century. So <laughs> ultimately, uh, I, I went with the three nominees from pretty much the same episode. Dimitri Tomkin. Ennio Maricone and Elmer Bernstein, because Miami Vice made me learn more this season <laughs> about turn of the century Depression era composers than I've ever wanted to learn. And now I know the origin behind the theme songs for Red River, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. Like, I know way more about that stuff than I ever cared to know. So, what a snub. And, Hoagie's just sitting out in the <laughs> audience, just stunned. <laughs> the award goes to Dmitry Tomkin, the Russian music composer who made a name for himself at the turn of the century, <laughs> composing songs for Westerns. <laughs> so 
<laughs> Even partially responsible for Rawhide. <laughs> Next category is best repeat offender. So, guys, who appeared in our music this year? Uh, who was the best artist to appear in our music this year who has ep appeared in at least one other season? I think the easy one is Peter Gabriel. But I don't know that John would say he was the best. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, uh, the nominees, we'll, we'll just go. The nominees are going to be the most often repeaters. The worst offenders: Peter Gabriel, Phil Collins, or Glenn Frey. Oh, that's oh, right. right! I forgot about Glenn Frey because it's the same song from in Bullet for Crockett. Oh, the the crowd sits in silence because <laughs> Glenn Frey was also and Phil Collins are both in an episode. Peter Gabriel is the only one of the three that never actually appeared in an episode. So I, th I think we're going Peter Gabriel here. Mm hmm. The winner is Glenn Frey. How can you oh. choose against Smuggler Blues? <laughs> Outlaw Country, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Only a few more categories to go. Let's go with best band name. Your nominees are going to be Jesus and Mary Chain, The Hooters, Big Pig, or Echo and the Bunny. Mm, Echo and the Bunny yeah. man, is a great band name. So is Big Pig. I don't know. I love the name Big Pig so much. So. <laughs> I think we've got to give it to Big Pig. <laughs> Not only do they have the name Big Pig, but they have like 27 drummers True. and 19 <laughs> singers just screaming yes. into microphones. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, that is just what makes it push us right over the top. Is that uh, just Google a band, uh, Google Big Pig if you ever want to see a band with nine drummers with safe search on <laughs> and no guitars. <laughs> <laughs> Our next category is biggest name in music this season. So we have Pop, who appeared in Blood and Roses with Winners and Losers. We had James Brown in Missing Hours with I Got You. And Aerosmith pops up in a Honor Among Thieves with Ragdoll. Or for the Smiths with in the episode The Rising Sun with Last Night I Dreamt That Somebody Loved Me. I'm going with Aerosmith because the Smiths are a bunch of nobodies. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> are you talking about Stevie Penny Morrissey? Yeah, that doesn't even. <laughs> Stevie even Patrick? Attempt it in this house. <laughs> Good old Stevie Patty. Stevie exactly. Patty. <laughs> and you don't even like Aerosmith. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> So the winner is Aerosmith. Sorry, Stephen. <laughs> sorry. Maybe next year. Maybe season five. I'm sorry, but James Brown. Oh, True. Aerosmith over James Brown. <laughs> I want to recount. <laughs> ah, hey, you know. <laughs> our last nominee, uh, I mean, our, our last category is going to be for best song in an episode. So our nominees are going to feature James Brown's I Got You, I Feel Good in Missing Hours. We've got Good Golly Miss Molly in Rockin' a Hard Place by Mitch Ryder and the Detroit Wheels. Or Pump Up the Volume by Mars in Baseballs at Death, which is, as you know, Ferris Bueller slash Twix song. <laughs> I am going with Mars because of the name M slash A slash R slash R slash S. Can't even spell it right. <laughs> Melissa, what's your vote on this? James Brown because he got robbed. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> joking. <laughs> I'm joking. We got to give James Brown one of the awards. James Brown, congratulations. You got best song. So off with, in my opinion, or, uh, well, guys, what was the worst and best music segment of the season? <laughs> best and worst. Oh, yeah. So worst is easy because there's a whole episode with no music. Yeah, that's so for you sure. You didn't exactly. even have a chance to talk about music. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Hell Hath No Fear is by far the worst music segment because there was no music in the episode. I was winging it the whole time, just saying names and <laughs> making up stuff. <laughs> making up facts, yeah. <laughs> so what do you guys think was the best segment of this season the best episode like the, the episode with the best music it's it's super tempting to say the certain theme 
that was running through the <laughs> cows of October. Yeah, I know, right? Because <laughs> it made John do such research. He never thought he'd do. But Bullet for Crockett, because it's got all the, it looks back to all the music that happened yep. in those scenes, too, That's which includes like Pat Benatar and stuff that weren't even in this season. Yeah. Thank you. We are all in agreement. A Bullet for Crockett, it had the most songs of any episode with six. Plus, it was a clip show. So I am not even exactly sure what I said during that segment. <laughs> I'm sure it was fantastic. <laughs> Don't you mean cliptastic? <laughs> cliptastic. <laughs> and that's your music. Season four took us down a path in music that was totally unexpected because there were so many unknown, like small bands or Scottish <laughs> punk bands, yeah. like all these random bands from New Zealand. Like it was all over the map. So. Let's go give now our final thoughts on season four and a quick look ahead to what's coming in season five. And that's going to do it for us this week. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Go With The Heat. We would love to hear from you. Email us, goWithTheHeat at gmail.com. Let us know what your favorite episode is of season four. We would love to hear it. We would also love to hear your feedback of what you think our picks are for season four. As I mentioned, next week, we will be having a clip show of all of our best moments of Go With The Heat in Season 4. So email us and let us know what your favorite moments from the podcast were, too. And make sure to get those into the clip show. That's always a ton of fun putting together and listening to for us. Because it's just a reminder of all the silly things we've said over the last four months. <laughs> There's a lot of those. <laughs> Be sure to check out that website, GoWithTheHeat.com. You can find all the ways to contact us. You can find all the ways to subscribe. You can find all the ways to support us. Support step number one. Come back next week and check out that clip show. We'd love for you to come back. Listen to that clip show. Just have some fun. Just sit back and have some fun with your pals that go with the heat. That's going to do it for us this week. We hope you enjoyed this episode. And we'll see you all next time. Bye, pals.